So hello, welcome to Steve Knows. Today, I am showing you a lovely cheeky preview of Swarm 2. This is coming out March 7th, and it's a sequel to one of my favorite VR games ever, Swarm. Swarm was an arena arcade shooter, but they've changed the game quite a bit. But I'm going to save that for my full review. I'm just going to show you some gameplay so you guys know exactly what you're getting in for. The soundtracks are already epic. Grip. Tug, and you feel the tension, and we swing right around. Get down! Love it. You don't start off with slow motion, you've got to unlock it, but it is definitely a must have. <laughs> I had to set the camera up a little. Whoa. I had to set the camera up a little bit differently this time. Because this game, you need space to swing around in all directions. We've implemented some new mechanics as well. You can like dash now and get super fast. Also, jet boosters, a bit of slow mo. Never go wrong. So you can keep up the pace. If you're going slow, use one of the boosts and you pick up your speed. Also good for changing direction quite quickly. Gosh, what a bloody sick beat! So this is something that's different from the first swarm. This time, you've got roguelike style of play, so you can choose a perk after every level. And I'm going to choose... Hmm. Do I want money? Critical damage increase or multiplier? Let's go for the hit chance. This game is just so rewarding. It does take a little while to kind of get used to the new mechanics from the first game. Just pre-warned. If you played that a lot, this one is going to feel a little different because you've got the additional ways of moving with the boost. Take some of that. Oh no. Oh no. There is a ton of levels in this game as well. No, no, not like 10, like, I think like 45 different maps for you to enjoy, which is just insane. And some procedural generations also included in the game. I do love the music. And sometimes just playing this game, it's not even about swinging. I just want to see, can I be super cheeky with, with the way that I play? Because I've noticed something that I picked up whilst playing I don't have to be giving out away tips whilst doing this. Is the length of the rope makes such a difference. If I'm all the way over here and then I decide to grapple that, you know, my swing is going to be rather long. If I want to swing around this, if I grip again like that, so I'm nice and close, straight through. That is going to be super useful for those of you who want to get good at the swinging. Not just rope once like this, but keep alternating. Stay in control at all times. You're gonna need more of those to beat me. Easily the best swinging mechanic. Because you, you grapple and then there's tension. It's... If anyone's gonna license a Spider-Man game, it's gotta be Green Sky with... Blow up the missile. Whoop! Got him! Oh no! Oh! You may also notice that the size of the maps are much larger and they're a lot more interesting than they were before. You'd have floaty platforms, not this really kind of in-depth obstacle <laughs> obstacle course-like mapping. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it through that Ferris wheel just then. You do have to invest some time to get really good, but my gosh, is it rewarding when you can. Absolutely slay and swing around like that! Oh, that's one of my favorite moves. Look, you can grapple the actual enemy, and sometimes it stuns them. I love that. Just like, oh, I'll grapple onto you, you silly enemy, and stun them, and then you can do extra damage whilst they, they're under that ailment. And they have swinging levels! Look, this is all about swinging. Nothing to do with attacking, all about traversal, tra testing out your skills. How good are you? You're, and you're, these kind of levels actually remind me of old school gaming. Say you were playing like like Sonic Adventures. You'd always get that random map that was just 
Had a sick soundtrack, all about the hype. Ooh. This is a boss fight. Shoot all these blue bits, the weak spots. Oh, beautiful. Although... <laughs> He's fired rocket. Oh, snap! There's so many. Keep on the move, Steve. That's a secret. You've got to keep on the move at all times. Oh, okay, the weak spot's on the front. Where is it? It's on the arm. We got it! Ah, we nearly got him. We nearly got him, boys. It's feeding me! No, we defeated him, so some shards are collected now. as a win. Through the portal to the next level. And now we move on to the desert phase. There is another phase after this as well. But now we have kind of like desert themed maps. The, the music changes. Some of the enemies are a little different now as well. In this game, we also have an arcade mode and a free roam mode. Free roam means you can just explore the city any way you wish. And arcade mode is you can select a theming and then select the map that you wish to play. And then you can just start a run from there and try and survive as long as you possibly can on any map you wish. So I couldn't end the video without at least showing you one of the space maps. Because they're so freaking cool. I love looking out and seeing a galaxy kind of floating in space. And also the difficulty, it steps up when it gets to these levels. Things start getting shields, things start bloody disappearing, teleporting. So things get a little bit harder. What I've shown so far has been kind of simple. But that's because I don't want to give away any spoilers. Laser! Give it the cube, everything I've got. The cube's a new enemy, as you can see, rotates. And those lasers do quite a bit of damage. Here's some familiar ones. You get them all, you get a bonus. Complete kill! So I freaking love this game. And it's an absolute honor to be part of this release once again, like I was with Swarm 1 and working with Mateo 311 for Swarm 2. So the game is coming out on March the 7th and it's available for pre-order where you get a little bit of a discount. You also get a special gun skin for doing so as well on release. And please comment down below things you'd like to see in this game. If you have any questions about it, I'll try and answer them as well down below in the description. But thank you for watching to the end of the video. Have a great week. Happy gaming. Good day.